Jack Mars is here. He is the founder of Alibaba, China's largest e-commerce group. He is one of his country's first and most successful technology entrepreneurs. His company runs a host of popular sites, including Alibaba.com, a trade site for small businesses that has more than 50 million users in more than 240 countries. Taobao, China's largest retail site with more than 300 million users, and Alibay, China's version of PayPal, with more than 400 million users. The company is also eyeing markets in the United States, Japan, and India for more growth. Alibaba is among China's homegrown tech companies that have flourished in its booming market. China already has the world's largest Internet population with over 400 million people online. I'm pleased to have Jack Ma at this table for the first time. Welcome. Thanks. So tell me how you got involved in technology. Well, actually, too, now I'm still not involved in technology. I'm involved in the, 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 entrepreneurship. the people, entrepreneurship, because I was trained to be a high school teacher. I know nothing about technology. Too now, the, the only thing I can use my computer is send, receive, email, and browse. That's it. <laughs> so, I even scared you. You can't write computer. code? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not at all. I, I always wondering how the code works. Yeah. But uh, the, the, uh, because I don't know the technology. So I respect the technology. I, I, we hire the best of people and understand them and let them. We always be, I, I believe one thing that is technology is for the people. We should tell the technology guy what the consumers want, what the people want. Because I believe 80% of the people in this world are like me. We love technology, but we're scared of technology. So that's, yeah. you know. So what was it about you in creating these companies? Well, um, I started the first internet company in China in 1995 called ChinaPages.com. Just by accident, I came to the States. I found the internet. I said, wow, this something is going to change the world. So I started the business. And, you and knew it was going to change the world when you saw it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think this thing is going to be huge. But I, I, honestly, I did not know after 15 years that growth that fast. Yeah. And um, I worked for myself for three years and compete with China Telecom, the SOEs, you know, yeah. state only business. And then I start um, failed and then joined government for 14 months and then start Alibaba. Um, to today, I think what we want to do, the, the business is that when I was an entrepreneur, small, tiny business, nobody mm -hmm. helped us. So when we grow, we say, well, China needs a lot of jobs. China needs a lot of small, medium size. China needs a lot of entrepreneurs. And what's the best way to help them? internet. So then we focus on helping the others and the, because we help more people and then more people help us, then the business really you grows. You are an apostle for small business. I'm a strong believer. It's my religion helping small It is your religion. It's my religion. You know, if, uh, it's, I, I think it's a great honor for us that we are, we are born in this stage doing internet and we suddenly realize we can help so many people and especially SMEs, it's all about a family. It's all about a family hope. It's all about a family dream. So, you know, it's so I think I'm very honored that it's it's just a great honor of the, this life that you can influence so many families just by using the technology and mm -hmm. grow. Where is Alibaba going? Still focus on e-commerce. Still focus on SME and consumer market, and I think we become uh, the infrastructure of China e-commerce. You know, e-commerce in the States is a dessert, but in China it's become a main course. Um, <laughs> the infrastructure of doing business in China yeah. is so bad, but infrastructure of doing business in the States is so good. So you know, it's it is very difficult for a pure e-commerce company to grow that big in the States, but in China, because just like mobile phones. 10, 15 years ago, the infrastructure of telecommunication was so bad, and the mm. mobile phone bang in China. Today, e-commerce, same thing. So I think mm. there is the best game in this world is helping us to make money through the commerce. What do you think your core competence is? Our core is culture. It's not the technology. I think technology is a tool. The core competence of our companies, we have 220,000, we grow from 18 people to now 20,000 young people. And we focus a lot on the value and the mission and making sure the culture, everybody work for helping others instead of, instead of you know, just to making money. Mm -hmm. And we believe the core company is different from the Wall Street. We believe custom number one employee number two, shareholder number three. Customer one, employee two, two shareholder, shareholder number three. three. Yeah, are we, again, this is my religion. And, you know, if you, it's the customer that pays us the money. It's the employees that drive the innovation. 
it's the shareholder, and the shareholder always say, you know, I don't remember the day before we IPO, and a lot of people say, Jack, can I keep up the shares? We were long-term shareholders. But when the crisis came, these guys run as soon as you know, they, they ran away. They ran away. <laughs> My people <laughs> stayed, customs stayed. Yeah. Uh, so where, you've got a world market now. I mean, you've got traction, big-time traction. Mm -hmm. You can look at the world and say, what we do in China, we can do anywhere. Well, or not? Uh, well, yes and no. I think we would say we're not what we would do in China, but where there's an SME, small, medium-sized business, will uh, be everywhere. I think if their world has SMEs, right. and I, I'm a strong believer, small is beautiful in this century. Last yes. century, big size, big skill. Lots. So the 21st century, small is beautiful. Small is beautiful. So we believe as long as any nation, anywhere, you have a small, medium-sized business, will be there. Now, are there people here trying to create, uh, do you see people in the United States trying to follow your model and do what you're doing? Uh, they ha try it, but not successful. Why is that? <clears throat> I think U.S. is still big company driven. You know, the, in the 10 years ago, the e-commerce in, in, the, in the Western part is focused on big company, focus on buyers, focusing right. on cut the cost. Right. But in China, we do is that we focus on small, medium-sized companies. We focus on supplies, and we, I think you don't have to teach the SME how to save the cost right. because they know better than you do. Yeah. We will help them to sell things. But USA, uh, we, we have uh, over 2 million registered users, small, medium-sized yeah. individual users in the States right now. And I don't know that this is an analogy or not, but Sam Walton at Walmart mm -hmm. focused on small towns. He built Walmart mm -hmm. by serving people in small towns, not by coming to Manhattan or mm -hmm. Boston or mm -hmm. Chicago or Los Angeles. I Boom. agree with that. I think I have, I have, I've seen people make a fortune by catching shrimps, but I've never seen people make a fortune by catching sharks and whales. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's, that is, you know, it's like Forrest Gump told me, right? Shrimp <laughs> this or shrimp that, and they have a simple dream and making sure people love yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So what are you going to, now that you have... Um, a very, very prosperous business, uh, enormous wealth, uh, fame. What is it you want to do? I think I'm, I think in the rest of my life is spend more time and and, and the entrepreneur encourage entrepreneurship. I want to. It is your religion and your yes, body. I want I want to help you more as SMEs and the entrepreneurs and to go back to school because I was trained to be a school teacher. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing business for 15 years, and I think most of the things I learned from schools, not correct. I want to go back and share what, with you. What didn't you learn that you wish you had learned? In other words, what is it they're teaching us that's not correct, and what is correct that they're not teaching us? Well, the MBA schools, a lot of business schools, they teach a lot of skills on how to make money, how to run business. But I want to tell people that if you want to run business, you have to run the valley first. To serve the others, help the others, that's the key. Because I, I, one, one thing we believe, if you think about making money, and this is U.S. dollar, this is Japanese yen, we talk all about you know, Hong Kong dollars. Nobody want to make, make friends with these people, you will never make money. Think about how can you help people and create value for the others, and they will get the money. This is how we succeed in China, and this is why you, know, you call us, or you ask what's the core competence in our company. I try to make the 20,000 young people believe that. It's because religion of the company. The people say, Jack, your company is crazy. How can you do that? But this is the way we run the business. And I think this is the way 21st century. The other thing is also focus on your own people. Quality, yeah. And the old people, I think, I say that what? the people, on, on people, your own people. Yeah, because right. as I think that China, the best resource is not the coach, not the petri, it's the human brains, the 1.3 billion people. If we develop their brains, and they good. that's good, a lot of innovation. That's the best resources we could ever have, have. And I'm so honored, you know, have so many young people. The average age of the company is 26 years old. Those great brains, that change the world. And that the brains, the running computer. I hate computer running brains. We should make the human brains run the computers. The technology growth, maybe 500 and 600 years later, Machine is going to kill people. Our job is to making sure that a human around the machine, machine serve the people. But, you know, computers. Yeah. Beyond the, the obsession with the 
small business and entrepreneurship and uh, in the human brain you know what is it that what is it about the way the world is going that encourages you or worries you i think worries me is about um about greeting especially for this one of the reasons why we have the financial crisis is the greed. When you put the money first, the shareholder number one, everybody think about you know, nation, think about the GDP and the company, think about the revenue, profit, the P and the IPO, and the people forgot them, what they're doing. We're coming here not to make money, come to this world not to make money, we're coming here to experience the life. So that really makes me worried. And what makes me feel excited, I think the young people the, nine, the, the, the people who born 1980s and 90s, and these people will find back the values because of the because You of really the believe that? You think we'll have a return to values because of young people? Because the young people. Future young people always bet. My father was criticized by my grandfather. And my father criticized me. But my father better, did a better job than my grandfather. I did a better job than my father. And I believe my kids would do a better job than us. That's, nobody can stop it. Mm -hmm. Now, you work all the time, or do you take time for some balance in your life? Um, if you pause, the answer is you have no balance. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's, that's, that's right. Uh, yeah. So why is that? Because it's so exciting? Because the challenge is now? Because it's the only life you know? It makes you happy? What? I think because of the excitement and because I want I really treasure and honor this opportunity in my life that I can do I can do things. Because I think my father said if you were born thirty years ago earlier, you will probably be in the prison because the idea you think is so dangerous. Yeah. But today I think no. He said if you were born thirty years ago you'd be in prison. The Cultural Revolution, I would be in prison. prison. They would have gotten you, yeah. The way you talk, yeah. the way you think is so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. that what are the ideas? that excite you? Or is it just customers? Customers, first. Yeah. Second is the last century, a company, if you want to grow, I believe you should find a good opportunity. But today, this world is never lack of opportunity. But today, if you want to be a great company, think about what social problem you can solve. It's not to catch the opportunity. It's about solving the social problems. If you, because company like Alibaba, we're growing so fast, it's very difficult for one opportunity that can make us last. Such an organization with the power powered by internet, with millions and millions of SMEs, with 400 million consumers, how, what kind of problem can solve? And um, I'm excited. Anything you, t you mentioned about cloud computing and talking about the mobile things, anything that's happened in the USA is going to happen in China. Will we continue to lead that technological revolution? I mean the states? Yeah. Yes and no. Um, because you've got smart people that have more education now. Uh, you've developed, and China is, is, developed, set, is educating every year, you know, by a factor of 100x number of computer scientists mm -hmm. and engineers, mm -hmm. people who can create with the right kind of investment, innovation, mm -hmm. philosophy, mm -hmm. and creativity, mm -hmm. the solutions to the technology issues. Yeah, I think China, uh, the, the, the U.S. does not have to worry about in 10, 20 years. I think USA technology will still take the leadership. Right. But a lot of things will shift to China because not because China, no, 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 not because China have more smart people. I think USA has also has a lot of smart people. The very important China market is big, 1.3 exactly. billion people. The market drive the technology. If there's a demand, you will That's have a huge demand. You know, you'll have the incentive yes. to create new solutions. Yes. Yes. Uh, new yes. ways to solve yes. people's problems. Exactly. Exactly. So, I think U.S. should be optimistic that open more open to China market because 1.3 billion people is not China market; it's a global market. Mm. And China should look at the USA also, saying, you know, this is the engine, this is the passion, it's the system, it's the culture that innovate. So. It, it still takes a long time for China to catch up the technology is easy, but to catch up the culture, the innovation, the system takes some time. And when will that come? 20, 30 years? Really? Yeah, at least. Who do you most admire in terms of, of in your field? I mean, you once said, uh, 
if Alibaba cannot become a Microsoft or Walmart, I will regret it for the rest of my life. Yeah, we should surpass Microsoft and Walmart because this is, it's not because Alibaba is great, because this is our generation, this generation, business leader, entrepreneurs, our mission to be better, do better than our mm. last generation. So I will regret if we cannot do better than Walmart, because Walmart created the wonderful business model. They created such a B2C model, and they created the largest scale assembly line and all affected. But Taobao and Alibaba, we create C to B consumer to business because of the consumer needs. All the business change their line. So I think this century give us young people the the opportunity to change the world, to improve the world. So, you know, that's that's we have to. I mean, there's no excuse. Say we cannot do it. We have to do it. I mean, because we have so many brains. Our forefathers already invested so much on education, and it's our time to prove it. Bill Gates and Warren Buffett went to China recently, I think, uh, to talk about their giving pledge, mm -hmm. the idea that people who, mm -hmm. are like yourself, who have become very, very rich, will think about, uh, at some point, giving up to 50% of that money mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that idea? What do you think? How do you think the response will be in China? Okay, uh, I think the, 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 it caused a lot of debates right now in China. Yeah. yeah, but my thinking is that first, to me, I never thought the money I have belongs to me. It belongs to society. When you have a, a couple of million, you're a rich guy. When you have 10, 20 million, it's the capital. When you have over 100 million, that's the social resor resources. Right. That's the society give it to you. You guys run it for guardian of it. Yeah. yeah, so it's not my money. My personal, I don't think I can, I can spend, I can sleep one bed, I can only make three dinners, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> all, right? That's yeah, what exactly. do you know, what, what is money for? Yeah, exactly. And the second is that today what China and needs. You're not going to be happy on a yacht in the Riviera. <laughs> <laughs> I think today what China needs is 200 million jobs. We are a country lack of 200 million jobs. 1.3 billion people, urbanization, and we need a lot of jobs. We need help a lot. A lot of people f to create jobs. So today, China philanthropy and charity and whatever don't I respect. But as people like us, we should use resources. That's one of the, the money. Better. We. Th I think we can run the resources better than the government. So how, when we are still young, by supporting the society? And I don't think I will. I will regret when I'm 80 years old, 70 years old, I said to donate, donate money. I should spend the money now. And create jobs. Create a job. Yes. Create a job. Yeah. Yeah. Create, yeah. you know. create a hope. You believe that in terms of social good, the best thing you can do I think, yeah. is create jobs because if you have a society in which people have a job and they have a respectable way to earn a living and provide shelter and to provide a means for their children to have a better life, as you said, yeah. your father did, and then your grandfather, and you did, then your father. Yeah, and the other thing is investment on the environment protection. The China, you know, I lost the two great young people last year because of the cancer, they're only 20s. Yeah, right. you know, I have a lot of friends. Do you have a friend or relative, anybody cancer? Everybody says, yes, I have a friend or environmental. relative. Environmental. Environment, the water is polluted, the trees, the environment, the whole thing. So we think, this is what I be, it become on my another religion. Yeah. If we grow our business, but we start caring for the environment, we are killing our kids, or killing our own future. So, this is thing is more important today in China than just giving money to somebody and do mm -hmm. things. So, it's not fifty percent. Why not? Why not ninety percent? Why did you call the company Alibaba? I like the spelling and like the vision Alibaba Open Sesame. I believe the uh, internet is uh, Open Sesame, and it, it, there is a password that to everybody that you can find a great people, you can find a great opportunities of business and improve people. That 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 is Open Sesame story. I love the Alibaba. It, it saves me a lot of marketing dollars.